What the f*** is up guys, my name is Connor aka So Superior. No, I'm just playing guys. My name is Sawchasm, but you can call me Saw Superior Let's do this. if you prefer. And in case you couldn't tell by my uh, extremely deep radio voice, I am not Connor. And Connor has blessed me with the opportunity to post a video on his channel. So thank you very much, Connor, aka the real So Superior. I do appreciate that. Connor is actually on vacation at the Bahamas. And did I just say the Bahamas? Yes, I did. Apparently, uh, I, I would think that that's Beyonce's private Bahamas island. I mean, I don't know if she actually has one. I was just joking about that, but if she does, you know, she could probably afford one, so, I mean, yeah, that that is where Connor would be uh, if she actually did own an island, but Beyonce does not own her private island, to my knowledge, yet. So Connor's not on vacation, he's just letting me post this video. Thank you, Connor, once again. Today I have for you guys a DNA bomb with the Amelie, 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 Amelie. I'm not sure if this gun is pronounced Amelie or Ameli, but either way, I know people are gonna say, No, sarcasm, it's the, not the Ameli, it's the Ameli. And then if I say it the other way, I say, No, sarcasm, it's not the Ameli, it's the Ameli, you dipshit. And I say, Okay, I'll just say it either way, I really don't care. I could call this gun the banana gun for all I care. I really don't care about pronunciation of the guns and all that shenanigans. That really isn't what I am so bothered with spending my time on Call of Duty. Oh, how do I pronounce this gun? Is it ASM1 or ASM the the ba BAL? Wait, BAL doesn't stand for balanced, right? Nah, no way. But this gun, I was actually going to compare it at first to kind of like a game of wheelchair basketball, especially on Uplink, because you got kind of that basketball theme going on with the Uplink nets and stuff like that. But I thought, I really did think that the people in the wheelchairs and wheelchair basketball, you know, they have, some of them have no legs, some of them have one leg, some of them have like one and a half legs, and... I thought they were going to be moving slow, real, real slow in those wheelchairs, just, you know, gliding across the court. But uh, that's what I was going to say the, that this gun is like, because you move so slow. However, I looked up a video of wheelchair basketball. They're flying down the court. Using this gun is nothing like wheelchair basketball, because this gun makes you into a fat, lard piece of shit. And I know a lot of you guys like to actually troll Connor, saying that that's him, but... Uh, no, I'm not talking about Connor. I recommend you using at least the stock attachment and the lightweight perks. Just spending two of your class points on those two perks with a heavy rifle will make you a lot more agile, a lot more mobile, and you'll be able to get kills from different ranges without having to haul your ass, your fat lard ass, across the map for 96 minutes, and you, you get across the map once, you kill all the enemies, the spawn flips, you have to run back, it takes you another 16 whole minutes, and by then the game is over, so you only get three kills. You end the game three and oh. That's right. That's what happens when you don't use those perks. But what I want to talk about in this video is actually hating from the outside. You know, people who don't do something, but they hate on other people that they see, you know, who are a little bit more successful than them, and they've never been in the position that the person has been in. So, what am I talking about? I know a lot of YouTubers get a lot of flack for reverse boosting or just, you know, whatever it is they do. You know, all this crazy shenanigans. People usually pick on, like, the dumbest stuff. They're like, so superior, he has two O's in his name. It's only supposed to be S-O superior. And then, like, is it, first of all, is that really that big of a deal? And second of all, people always hate on the stuff that they really don't understand what it's like from doing something you know they hate on something that they see other people doing that they've never actually tried like like that guy at the club everybody knows if you've ever been to a club or a school dance or whatever there's always at least one kid who loves to sit on the wall he doesn't dance at all probably because he can't dance and probably because he knows he'll look like a fool and no girl will want to even approach him and meanwhile he's like sitting on the wall like huh Look at all these losers dancing and having fun. Like, why why are these guys dancing and having fun? Wait, these guys are dancing with girls and stuff and, like, making out with girls? What a freaking loser. Why would I want to do that? They look like fools. And that's really just comes from a point of jealousy. Like, you always know that when a person is talking down on someone who's more successful than them. And, I, you know, I know that. I'm using the term successful lightly because we're, I'm just talking about like dancing and making out with girls. I don't know. Personally, to me, it's not like a huge success. I, I don't I don't think we should like celebrate people and like throw parties if they just dance with a girl. Like, yeah, you danced with your first girl, Mikey. Yeah, you're moving up in the world. Woo. 
This is your party, man. Now you can dance with two girls. Yeah! But anyway, guys, I hope you understood the point that I wanted to get across. You know, it's really easy to hate when you're looking from the outside in, but not as easy when you've actually tried something before and realized how actually difficult it is. But thanks again to So Superior for letting me post the channel. My YouTube channel link will be in the description below, which you can do a little clicky clicky and subscribey subscribey if you would enjoy. And uh, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.